this is Nigel. Now Nigel isn't a Yorkshireman, so I'm just crying because obviously we're not in Yorkshire, land of the gods. We're heading over to the lakes as usual. Um, I've been abducted. He's making me a vegan. I didn't ask to be, so I'm being veganised by force. Tonight is going to be, it's dark when we'll get there, um, we're going to throw the trail star up and uh, Nigel's got us this vegan themed meal um, and it's, yeah, it should be good. Um, weather's might be a bit wet later on, we'll just have to see how that pans out. It's not going to be that cold though, um, sorry about the radio in the background, YouTube, don't ban me. Um, we'll get there shortly. Leave the roundabout at the first exit. We must be able to turn that off. <laughs> I'll get the car out of this for too long. It will do me in. I can turn it up. No, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to lift it off deck now. You can't just. That's uh, that's eight. eight. That's eight kilos, mate. Right, okay. I thought it was feeling a bit lighter. We set the dial. I think it would just carry on going around, mate. I'm strong enough. Thanks for resetting the dial. I said it would carry continue around with you. Operator. Go on then. 11. Your cleat. Should we try that without the expletive? Sorry, yeah, sorry. And take two. The comfort views, don't we, Nigel? I love them. Back to your feet. Um. Another angry, angry letter off George Lucas about me. Uh... Yeah. You know when I said this head talks is on its way out? Yep. It keeps turning itself off now. Well, that's a good thing. Helpful, isn't it? It is. The battery saved the scheme. Saving the world there, mate. Oh. really hurt. I don't know why I just did that. Did you just that. dig your oh. hand into it? <laughs> I just tried to smash it on top of these, <laughs> these spikes. He's a good lad, bit thick, but he's good. Right. <sighs> is this a good time to realise that I've forgotten any spoon? Any of my spoons? Seriously, she spark or something? Yeah, no, I haven't bought anything. We're sharing colour, eh? I think we are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to, I'll think of I'll really something up. But yeah, I usually keep it in the top of my uh, rack so I can never think about it. And I've just realised it's in the cutlery door at home. Just as you said about Paul Dior and that, I think, oh. Ah. Ah. Yeah. I always forget something. Nobody oh, goes. I've just done the water run, I filled up everybody's uh, water needs because that's the kind of charitable chap I am when I'm wild camping. So Nigel is going to uh, tell us about this fantastic feast. So we have a bag of smash, signs be, so we're poshing, poshing it up. Our soy textured thing. Where do you get that from? Holland, Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett. Holland and Barrett, and what is it? It's just, is it a protein Soy, substitute? For, pretty much, yeah. And it's vegan and vegetarian yeah. and, and really packed with protein, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely round, 50 grams for 100 grams. There's 50 grams of protein in there. Now, we haven't done a lot of exercise today, but if you had been out, you know, all day with a rucksack on, um, why did my, is that your torch? Yeah, it's mine. My Nigel's torches. having technical difficulties with his torch. I think it's gone, there you go. Um, so yeah, if you if you were out on a long period, uh, for a long period, doing a lot of work, you would need a lot of protein, I think. And that could be the answer for it. How much did you pay for that? It was 
two quid, don't like that, for 375 grams. Comparatively, that's about the same as chicken, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's about, and you need about 50 grams a meal. It rec what it recommends, anyway. Which, to be fair, does give you a good chunk. Alright, so what's in the Mystic bag of seeds and what have you? Uh, just some fibrins, mostly curry powder, and some and a stock cube to make it a bit more beefy. Alright kids, so we're vegan, um, we're packed with protein and curry, so God only knows what the gas experience is going to be like in here tonight. There's a good wind, so we're fine. There's going to be a lot of wind, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you. Um, right, so over here is uh, Nigel's about to attempt to cook set. Wind. Do, you, do you want my gas light, yeah? Give me a minute, I might have to answer that. Have you had that in your pocket or not? No. Oh, fuck. Bleep, bleep, he means. Oh. He's dropping it in the snow essential, Nigel. Well done, you. I'd have given up on that. You're going to give up on it as well, alright. Thank you, want to eat. These are a pint. <laughs> Do you think it makes much difference if they're cold? Apparently not. I was wondering about that if that would be enough. Yeah, mate. And are these hexamine blocks just your regular ones that you get from like Holland and Barrett or something? No, I can't remember where I got these. I found these in the Well, thanks. In, in, For the in, content of the video, Nigel, a little bit of research would have been lovely. I but found no, these in the shed. Just ruin it for everybody. I found these in the shed and I have had them many years. Do you think they might be XMOD or something? Possibly. I don't remember using my ones. But... You'd have had the square ones, wouldn't you? Yeah. There's a fire. What's underneath it? Uh, you stood it on something? Yeah, just a little uh, bit of silver foil just to uh, keep it... keep the ground from getting damaged because it doesn't burn the most clean. And... Uh, Please don't drown us, Nudge. Do you want a hand? You do it tight. It's not very tight. See, I'm not very good at hiking these. It's going to come in 10 minutes. Why don't you decamp that and put water in there? That's stuck, it's sellotape, yeah. isn't it? That's shoddy workmanship right there. I did not make that, by the way. <laughs> See, you teach me how to make a tra uh, put a trail star up properly. And uh, I'll show you how to make a cosy of yeah, descriptions. That is, that's that's fully sellotape, isn't it? I think it might be stuck on the uh on the uh Oh the gunk. The oh. gunk up on that. That's the downside of this system. You smell it as well. Who makes the pots? This is tokes I think as well. Did you get them for America or do you get them in this country? This country. Is that a go light or something? Yeah, backpacking light, I think, again. Uh, I bought them that years ago. Oh. Ah. 
Isn't it? It's on. It's going. That'll do, will it? Oh, and um, Nigel and I are sharing a spoon. I'll work something out. The only way that Nigel could get his weight down to eight kilos is forgetting his cutlery. <laughs> I joked earlier on about sharing his toothbrush because he's got a very, <laughs> he's got a very James Bond fold away into the handle toothbrush, which apparently you can get from Tesco's. I've never seen him. I don't shop at Tesco's, but um, yeah. So I said, "Oh, we're sharing that. We ain't morning." And then it turns out he's got no cutlery, so we're sharing sharing my cutlery. Happy days. What happens on camp stays on camp, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It could it's not like I'm going to bring it up all the time or anything like that. No, I'm not going to ever hear the end of this. No. <laughs> Ever. Here's a good right here, yeah, nice. Come on, you can you can tell a story. Get yours going. Well, what do I need to put on it? Water. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So what I was going to suggest was. <laughs> now's a good opportunity for Nigel to tell a story about Stephen. And perhaps a map-related story. Uh, <laughs> what, when we went to Scotland by any chance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that story. And you forgot. Well, you didn't forget maps. You no. You didn't bring maps. I did. Were they, the, were, they, were they the right maps? No, no. No, they weren't, not. were they? Well, we were going to the Cairngorms, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the place where we were meant to be going, yeah. Where were you going, Steve? Well, I had maps for the Lake District, didn't I, Nigel? Yeah, you do like this place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. Alright. So this, this is the, Nigel's genius idea. This is the sloppy mash because Nigel <laughs> basically added. Did you see that, folks? I mean, that's how Ainsley Harriet does it right there. It's like a cheese sauce, isn't it, man? Don't put that. Don't put the pan back on that. What are you thinking? I'm trying to keep it warm for you. All right, then that's one. So what you're going to try and do that? Just eat it straight out of the bag? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> God, I'll be stealthy, guys. <laughs> well, gonna, uh, just, actually, are you going to help me now? That's... He's going he's gonna to make the mess of a lifetime <laughs> over here. It makes a chance for you doing it. No need for that. It's just, it's just not I mean, me. I kept quiet for years while you were messing about and had kit everywhere. Just because you're Mr. Organised. Look, Nigel, we all can't be perfect and bring their own cutlery, all right? Right, there's one. This is just going in there. Sweet. Yeah, that'll probably thicken that up. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to. Right, I'm going to eat this like a lady with me head outside the tent. <laughs> that looks all right, mate. Smells there nice. There you go. Right, bottoms up. <sighs> So it's about a quarter to ten on Friday night, and um, yeah, I think we all know what time it is. I think it yeah, definitely snowed, but it? Well, yeah, you can see it on that side of walking pole, can't you? Yeah. Feel that frost. Right, uh, it's five in the morning, and um, my side of the uh, inner was battering me against the side of the head, which was funny. But uh, what's happened, the uh, the actual walking pole that supports the front had moved. Um, you say it's hail, snow, or snow, snow sideways, yeah. quite a lot of it? Quite a lot of it. You can't see it from the tent, but it is snowing. I feel like you've got a little bit there. Right. It is snowing quite heavily. Um, we're all right. We're dry, aren't we? You're going to get warm me. again shortly. I mean, I don't get my sleeping bag. That's the type of bloke I am. Um, but we are considering uh, cutting this particular part of the the trip off short uh, for well safety reasons. Really, we we'll just have to see what it's like when it's daylight after a bacon sandwich and a coffee and reflection upon today's activities. But. Uh,
Who's Whose idea was this, Nigel? That was yours, Steve. You chose up here. That, no, who, to, who chose tonight, though? And who, in fact, who said it's getting warmer? And then who said... What? Did you not just say it's actually not that cold? It, well, yeah, all right, all right, you get, get off on a technicality there. You said there was going to be one small, minute rain cloud that was going to pass over us. I didn't say there was And then small. it was going to be short weather. Those, I've got it in a text message, pal. <laughs> I think you need two more guy ropes off that front one, don't you? Oh, what, do you know what I mean, left and right? So, as you know, uh, Nigel has been somewhat of a mentor to me. He's, um, well, like the, the Terra Nova tent, Nigel lent me his Terra Nova tent, fell in love with that, bought it. Um, I already had a jet boil, but there's so many bits of kit and advice and stuff that I've actually got from Nigel, and I'm eternally grateful for that. You know, joking aside, and on art, learnt so much. However, wearing... Those pyjama bottoms, that's not happening, guys. <laughs> I, I, we're not doing that, unfortunately, mate. <laughs> yeah, but you were cosy, weren't you? Yeah, warm. Well, I've never seen out like that before. Do you want to build a snowman? Admittedly, I am 40 years old and. Um, I built a snowman, but I mean, what else am I going to do? I mean, I could take down the shelter, but I'm a 40 year old who's got a, a child's mind, so I'm going to build a snowman, built snowman, and we've named it after Nigel's little one. Little Snow Angel Ava. Right, there you go, got focused. This is us back at the car now, midday-ish, isn't it? Yeah. Still people going up, the car park's absolutely full, so loads of people are going up, which is great to see. Um, we've had a good time, haven't we, mate? Yeah, it's been good to get out. We learnt a bit. Yeah. A few little bits to get, maybe? Yeah, like uh, trekking poles. Trekking poles, yeah, because Nigel's um, collapse when it and wants. And he forgot his brand new ones. And my, oh, my top of the range ones that would not have done that, yeah. that I left at home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that happened, yeah. So, a few improvements. Um, no injuries? No. 
um, well fed. Oh yeah, isn't that what one of them will? Yeah, so um, good, good yeah, concept. enjoyed that and we're coming back. There's, yeah. a, there's a few ideas in the pipeline for this area. Nigel likes it, um, I like it and if you haven't been down here, um, come down to Hallswater Reservoir. There's only one road in to the yeah. car park at the bottom and if it's clearer than it is today because it's foggy, get you early. will get an amazing view. Get here early though. One of the, yeah, yes. it's a beautiful place, just come down. It's packed and it's horrid weather. It's, it's packed and it's horrid weather, so it's always going to be popular. Yeah. But yeah, come down, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.